The video might go off after 15 seconds. Uh, I've selected the scene selection. I've taken the battery out, given it a blow, put it back in. Taken the memory card out, suck it back in. It could be that I've accidentally put a timer on the amount of video footage. I'm just trying to see if this will get me to the gate. I'm walking up a lane now from Banwell. I'd done Dark Lane a minute ago. Across the very, very dangerous road. A bus does stop at the top of that hill, but to be quite honest, it, it must be extremely dangerous to have a bus stop there. But it does. I've, I've been on it before when it stopped there. Right on a bend as well by the castle. I'll know that for another time if I don't, but I like to do the hill because it clears my lungs. It makes my rib cage work. Now the last time I came here, a few months ago, and I was walking further up, I got past all the little cottages and I, I looked there were some cows on the track and I, I was just looking around but I didn't have my camera on video at the time. And also, I don't know what sort of camera I had, but basically what it was, I, I seen the panther. I saw a black panther in the field creeping like a big cat does. It sat still for ages, but I didn't get round to capturing it because first of all, I'm not, I wasn't quite sure what it was. And it was cross, coming across one of the fields just past the cottages. So, and I've, it's been mentioned before in the Banwell, from, in the Banwell News about the panther that a woman has spotted it. So, unfortunately, if I, I took a picture, I think, but it was very, very tiny. Hello, sheepies. How you doing? I thought I won't come in today. I'm not going to disturb you. I'm just going to put the camera there and video you while I take a picture. Don't go away, I want to take a picture of you. That's it. I want to get a picture of you with Crook's Peak in the back as well. There we go. And perhaps another one there. I was able to do a video of you and take your photo. Bye bye. I usually come in there, but I'm not going to today. I've got to try and avoid eating until the very last minute because I get indigestion really bad. Sweets are okay. Like I said, I don't, I'm not quite sure where those women went. They might, they might know another walk that I don't know about. Or they might have gone through the sheep field. There could be a walk that I don't know about that would be very good. I know there is, I know you can go down there. It's beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful scene, everyone. I'll take a picture. Yeah, Brent Knoll is in the mist today. Brent Knoll is. There's Crook's Peak over in the distance. There it is, just coming into view. Crook's Peak. I mean, it'd be nice to walk down that lane, but what it is, the cars travel so fast. Country lanes are really, really dodgy. It'd be great. I'm going to try and keep the camera rolling when I go past those cottages. in case that panther turns up again. 
I reckon it was. It was had a jet black head and it was sat. It was too big to have been a cat. And it was the way it was crawling through the the grass in the field. I just didn't get the camera organised. I wasn't pre I wasn't expecting it. I think I'd have just videoed the cows in front of me and I turned the camera off. Let's crook to begin. Turn that off for a minute. Yeah, I'm using the video camera. The um, camera seems to be right now. Um, this one's alright for videos. I didn't take it out with me yesterday. Now this will be quite a nice little walk to do today. Um, it'll be just enough. I'm trying to fit in some of these walks before the buses disappear or the times change so much that there's too huge a gap. Because what I find is well, just and that as for that um, Westlink, oh, you know, apparently using the app with your phone's a nightmare, and it is. I've used it once, but I booked the night before, and uh, I did it on my computer at home, and they let me know on my mobile. So. But what I need really is a bus back because um, I need to know exactly their boundary for picking people up. Because at the moment I am missing certain cheddar walks that I, I like doing. Up Lynch Lane for example and up the gorge. I had to stay over there a couple of nights in order to do Velvet Bottom. Then I had to give, it cost me a fortune just for t two nights. It cost me a fortune. Taxi. Extra expenses. But it was worth it. It was worth it. I hadn't been out Cheddar for ten months. And it seemed like it only been, when I went there, it just seemed like I'd been there the other week. So, because I've done cheddar so many times, I could easily go out there three times a week at times. Do you know what I mean? I just loved the place. I was exploring every flipping pathway. All round, all round the year. As well, do you know what I mean? All round. All seasons. And when I had Alberta, all weathers. Because with Alberta, I could take spare clothes, hot drinks extra stuff, you know, I didn't have to cart everything about, whereas when you're relying on a bus you've got to take, even today I've brought a windshield, I haven't brought my waterproof mac, mac. it weighs more, but I've made sure I've got plenty of water, and I've made sure I've got something to eat. The idea today is to get the Hutton bus. Now, I might go all the way to Bleeden and get the Hutton bus. <clears throat> I might do. Rather than go down through the wood. I haven't decided yet. In the future, the alternative for Hutton will be I'll have to get a number seven to Haywood Village. And then walk across the moor, walk through, um, to walk through Hutton, it's, there's a, a, it'll turn out a larger walk, then I'd have to walk round towards the plantation, and then round the plantation, and end up in bleeding, getting the number 20. It'll be a larger walk. Right, now, I think it was not this field, it was the next field where I saw the Black Panther and the grass was longer. 
but there is Bramwell Wood there. They don't encourage people to go in there. I have done it, but since I saw the Black Panther, and I know it was, I'm reluctant to go across that field and get on that track. So that's what I normally do. I take in turns, I either go up here, or I go in there and I walk along. There's a bloke that gets on the Rington bus, so he, he gets on one part of Banwell, and I think sometimes he goes to Winscombe, sometimes he gets off at the hill at Banwell. Now he always carries the same carrier bag with something in it that look, could be a laptop or a book. Now I think he's the local historian. He's the sort of bloke you'd need to sit next to and ask him about the wood and how you can get up in the tower and that. I think that's my feeling, it's a gut feeling. Anyway, I've walked here before on hot sunny days quite often and in the winter and it's usually peaceful. I have, I, I do bump into the occasional people but I don't know if it's neighbourhood watch. Because what I found before whenever I've come here, as soon as I've passed, I didn't see the woman in the window but another woman was out. They might take in turns. Anyway, it's harvest time, look. Getting in the harvest at August. I can't see the cows in the field, but they do go in that field. William Beard's monument is in that field. A little group of trees, tall trees that you can see there in the distance. I'll just zoom in a minute. By those tall trees there, uh, is a monument, a big stone with writing engraved on it. I have got it and it's on YouTube. Now keep your eyes peeled for a black cat. Now what I can do, because I've got the two cameras, I can do video with one and then restricted photos with this. Which is quite good actually to have both. There's a bloody gorgeous tree in it. I think that's an elm. A surviving elm, I think. Yeah, I mean this isn't a bad walk. It's not a massive walk. It's not like when I do the walk to Crooks Peak or St Leonard's at Compton Bishop. Those are those are big walks. Or when I did Velvet Bottom the other day. That was a nine hour walk. Today, actually the weather's probably kind, being not too hot. Because it does make you more tired when you get really hot. But I do like the heat. Um, so, so basically what's happening is I'm going to walk along here and then at the bottom I'll cross over a bridge over the M5 and then go up the bridle path to the plantation then down through Canada Coombe where I'll decide whether to go the quick way to get the bus or I'll wander through Hutton Wood and to be quite honest that's what I want to do really I want to say to myself do Hutton Wood because you keep on, now you know there's a get out clause, you often cheat. Now I've just seen someone come out of their house, sometimes they are neighbourhood watch people. So it's difficult to video and talk at the same time. So I'm going to turn off now, but I am going to take some photos, because he's out pruning his bushes. So what I'll do, I'll try and get him out of view, here, and I'll take a picture. I'll take a picture here. Hold on. It won't come out, I don't think. It's not a very good camera, really. I can't wait to get a Sony again. I don't think that'll come out. Look at it. It looks fuzzy already. Yeah, they've already spotted me. They know I'm coming. They're waiting. 
I can't, has he got his back to me? He's walking around the back now. Now you see here, we just go through here, this is a pathway. This is a pathway. And once upon a time they were growing corn in the field here. It was maize. And you know what? It was maize. It was a, a field of maize. And I started to go in it and it was ten foot high. But there is a path which you can see clearly when the, everything's been harvested. You can see the line going across the field. But I never knew that at the time when I went in there and it was 10 foot high maze. I had to turn back so I thought I'm going to get lost. You know, literally in a maze. Let me just leave that there a minute. camera in it. Yeah. So that's a way across. And there's a gate over there by the way. There are walks around. But uh, there is a risk factor I'm afraid. Yeah, some people never walk on their own, would they? It doesn't bother me. <laughs> <laughs>